Hello and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about whether Hitler murdered Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria. Boris was born on the 30th of January 1894 at Varna Paris in Sofia, Bulgaria. His parents were Ferdinand I of Bulgaria and Marie-Louise of Bourbon. Boris became Tsar of Bulgaria on the 3rd of October 1819 just before the end of World War I. And then after the war Boris had a little bit of a rough ride with his early reign. His first Prime Minister was toppled in a military coup on the 9th of June 1923 and then assassinated. On the 14th of April 1925 a group of anarchists attacked Boris's cavalcade. Then two days later a bomb killed 150 members of Sophia's political and military elite while they attended the funeral of a murdered general. Later that year there was another attempt on Boris's life and then in October 1925 there was a short border war with Greece which was resolved with the help of the League of Nations. In 1934 there was another military coup where on the 19th of May the Zeno military organisation took over the government and established a dictatorship and banned political parties. Boris became a puppet Tsar but then the next year he staged his own counter coup and took back control of the country. So political parties were not actually restored when Boris took back control but a former parliament rule was reintroduced with Boris controlling the political process. So during the king's government Bulgaria had an era of prosperity and outstanding growth. Falkland correspondent for the Christian Science Montier Ruben H. Markham writing in 1941 says as a ruler Boris is competent, as a citizen exemplary, as a personality inspiring. King Boris is very accessible he constantly comes into contact with persons of every sort. He drives his car up and down the country and often stops to converse with peasants, workers or children. He is without question one of the best kings in Europe. So at the start of World War II in 1939, Bulgaria remained neutral. But Adolf Hitler tried to win Bulgaria's alliance. During World War I Bulgaria had fought on the losing side and in the peace treaties at the end of the war two of Bulgaria's territories had been given to neighbouring countries. Southern Dobruja had gone to Romania and Western Thrace had gone to Greece and Bulgaria wanted these lands restored to them. So Hitler trying to get on Bulgaria's side hosted diplomatic talks between Bulgaria and Romania and southern Dobruja was returned. Boris aligned himself with the Axis powers and then Thrace was returned. But this alliance also prevented Bulgaria from being crushed by Germany. But aligning himself with Nazi Germany meant that Boris had to accept the anti-Jewish law for protection of the nation. This law was in accordance to the Nuremberg laws in Germany. The law restricted Jewish rights imposed new taxes and established a quota for Jews in certain professions. Many Bulgarians were not happy with this and actually wrote letters in protest to the government. In February 1943 a secret agreement was signed between Hitler's emissary Theodor Danica and the Bulgarian Commissioner for Jewish Affairs Alexander Bailu. The agreement was for the deportation of around 20,000 Jews. So this agreement was kept quiet at first but news of the deportations leaked and protests began to rise throughout Bulgaria. Under pressure Boris decided to temporarily stop the deportation of Jews. He did see if it was possible to deport Bulgaria's Jews to British controlled Palestine instead of the concentration camps in Poland but this mood was blocked by the British Foreign Secretary Anthony Eden. Though Boris and his friend Monsignor Angelo Roncalli who later became Pope John XXIII did manage to get transit visas for Palestine for Jews from Slovakia who had been sent to Bulgaria to await transportation to the concentration camps. So Hitler was starting to get a bit peeved with Boris's reluctance to send the Jews to the concentration camps. So he invited Boris for a talk. Now when Boris returned from this talk he ordered that all able-bodied Jewish men were to immediately join hard labour units to help build Bulgaria's roads. 
Theodore and Alexander had planned to deport 48,000 Jews from Bulgaria, but Boris said that they were not allowed to leave because they were needed to build the roads. Now, some people claim that this was actually Boris's attempt to stop the Jews from going to the concentration and death camps. When the Nazis requested that Bulgaria deport the Jews to Poland, this caused a national outcry and Boris refused to permit them to leave. Now, Boris was also annoying Hitler because he was refusing to declare war on the Soviet Union. And that even though he had declared a symbolic war on the UK and the USA, he was refusing to do any more than that. So Hitler invited Boris to another talk. And when Boris got back from this talk, he died of heart failure. But the two German doctors who had attended Boris believed that he had actually in fact been poisoned by a slow working poison that took about two weeks to work. And rumours started going around that it was Hitler who had poisoned Boris because he was angry that Boris refused to deport the Bulgarian Jews. Now Boris's son Simeon suspected that it was actually the Soviet Union that had poisoned his father, while his daughter Marie Louise reckoned that it was the East that was the ones that killed him. American news said that Hitler had actually tried to hit Boris at their meeting and that Boris had suffered a heart attack there dying three weeks later. But Hitler thought that it was actually the Italians who had poisoned Boris. So people did think that Boris had been poisoned but no one actually knew who it was who could have done it. At Boris's funeral weeping crowds lined the street and Boris was buried in Bulgaria's most important monastery. But when the communists came to power his body was dug up and reburied in the courtyard of Varna Palace and then at a later time his body was moved again to a secret location. So do you think Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria died of natural causes or was he poisoned and if he was poisoned who done it? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!